Hit it again! Keep your hands steady, three. <laughs> again! Again! Make it squeal again! We're juicing it up! The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises! We made it squeal! Look, look, you'll see! Give me that rock! I'll show ya! Uh, of course. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. But, but I want to hear it squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. S sorry, sir. I'll open the cage for you. you up. Wary, but not yet attacking.
Let's light them up. Viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Oh, I'm quite aware of that, rest assured. But where is safe right now? Hmm, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated.
I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. <laughs> I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Korga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drow in Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Be warned, my presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below which smells only of death. Two steps at a time.
Let us see the battle won. in the air. 